Shout out to my nigga Pharaoh. I came with the yell, 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 yell. The hip hop police, they been at they been at Cause I'm preaching sub love and sub mass. Yes, I am. I came to talk about the God in you. God in you. Goddess and God's how we got him. Push over, When we was the slaves, what the Bible what do? do? Confuse us, no, you can't be high as us. Take away knowledge. It's easy to hide the That's proof. Fucked up. So much power inside of you. That's right. Peace. 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 <laughs> I'm. This is fair enough for time again. And uh, I was coming on here because I wanted to. I was doing a lot of research today, all today, all today. I was basically researching or reading or getting information, shaping my mind and my thought process, opening my uh, pineal gland and or more so activating the pineal gland and coming into God consciousness or root consciousness, you know, um, as I was doing that, I found so many, so many new teachers, new to me, um, but they've been here for decades. <laughs> Dr. Blair, if I'm not mistaken, Delbert Blair, but Dr. Blair, man, this brother is amazing. I, if you have not heard of him and you are on a spiritual journey, He's on YouTube. Look him up. Dr. Delbert Blair. Um, uh, Bobby Hammond. I knew I knew about Bobby Hammond before, but I never really I wasn't when I when I heard his lectures before, I didn't hear it with the same mindset that I have now. And the mindset I have now is way more open, way more able to download information. Because because now I can pick apart certain things that I wasn't wasn't able to pick apart before. Uh, Doctor Jewel Pukram, this sister, this queen, this goddess, she is amazing. You you have to you have to, you have to look her up. And I I want I wanted to come on here and say a couple of things. Um, one to, to to give you guys an update on how I'm doing my uh my journey my, my six week journey of not eating it uh, after sunset that's one of the another thing i wanted i wanted to um bring to you guys attention um uh i'll come back to that i'm gonna talk about the the health benefits that i've been seeing for the past what four or five days i started on the 27th today is the i started on the 27th Today is the 31st. So what is that? Four days. It's been four days. It's been four days. And two of those days, I have not had to use my inhaler. This is one of the longest periods of time that I've gone without having to use my inhaler. This is amazing. And it's, and, and, and it's coming from not having to eat after... I'm not eating... When the sun goes down, for one, and then two, is coming from recognizing that my body is experiencing a chemical reaction based off of the environment, and I am able to uh, concentrate on that on that reaction and have my brain create more chemicals to offset that reaction, AKA having an asthma attack, sitting there thinking about, hey, you don't really have asthma, it's gonna go away, and it's going away. <laughs> it's been happening for the past four days. And it's wonderful. And uh, if you are in any type of pain, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, physiological, whatever, just, one of the big things that I got, and I got this from uh, 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 Dr. Joel Pukram, if I'm not mistaken. To not, eat. No, 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 I didn't get this one from her. I got this one from, uh, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Um, but one of the biggest things I would suggest for everybody to start doing is not eating after sunset. I'm sorry, it is to stop eating when 
when the sun goes down or before the sun goes down. The reason I say that is because you're giving your body time to rest, for one, and, and, and you, your, your, whatever, whatever you got going on health-wise will go away. It will go away. Now, of course, you have to do other things besides that, like actually eat good food, like greens and water and stuff, you know, herbs for real, <laughs> have your crystals, but you know, you know, not, not have as much artificial light, but, but what I'm trying to say is that, or not what I'm trying to say, what I'm, what, what I am proclaim, proclaiming is that through, through experimentation and research of my own doing, you can get rid of the shit that you got. There's no reason why we should be having these ailments when, when we can literally sit for three minutes and I'm proof, I'm doing this. We can literally sit for, for three minutes and concentrate and have those chemical reactions in our brain be produced and then be able to offset whatever's happening, meaning, meaning be able to heal whatever's happening. What I'm saying is that you are, you are a God. You are a goddess. You are, you are more powerful beyond all measure. And the crazy thing about this is I've been aware of things, but now I, I, just, I keep becoming more and more and more aware continuously, so rapidly, it's fast. And, and, you, you, and you, this is more stuff and the more stuff and the more stuff and the more stuff. So if you see this video now, probably three days from now, I'm going to be on a whole nother thing and I'm going to be, be able to absorb it and it's going to be in, in my subconscious mind. I'm going to be what I'm saying is that we all have this power. But yeah, man, I I I really just want to get on here and say that um, I didn't want to go for for too long, for too long because sometimes one can ramble. <laughs> but this download, everybody take. Do not eat after the sun goes down. All you eating should be before the sun goes down. When the sun goes down around seven, eight, nine ish, but really seven and eight. So eat eat before then, and, and don't like well, I don't want to say that. What I will say is that one thing that I found is that whenever you eat after twelve or when your body actually wants food, not not when you think you want food, when your body actually is hungry. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's amazing. With that being said, man, I love you guys. Peace. Peace.